Hey Warwick, Tank Master is out here doing an above ground tank removal, above ground installation, just a standard job. We get out here and what do we see? We see another tank, another customer that used the bottom drain plug as a feed to the supply line of the burner. It's not what it's for. So after 42 years, that let go. It dripped out oil. The oil man should have caught this sooner because he's filling it every other week. And you're probably gonna see red oil in the snow during the winter. So when we came out, <clears throat> we saw and smelled immediately the oil spill under his tank. This is where his old tank was. I mean, you can clearly see that doesn't look normal. It smells terrible. We've dug this up. I took a PID reading. This is a meter which sniffs the volatility of hydrocarbons, which is the chemical base in fuel oil. On that PID meter, it shouldn't be over 15 to 30. According to the DEC, that's considered acceptable. This soil right here, when we screened it, was 381. Then we dug down to the brown clay where we thought that was clean. That came in at 120. So uh, this now has to get called into the state. Tank has to be installed in a new location because we're gonna need to do a soil remediation. Um, it's good that I'm very good consulting on the homeowner's behalf with insurance carriers. He's got a good carrier. This now gets called into the state. He's calling into the carrier and I'll consult on his behalf and I'm sure within a month or so we'll be out here to clean it up. The bottom line is if you got an above ground tank, go outside and look at it and see where those lines come out. If they come out of the bottom of the tank, give us a call.